Self-love by definition means that you don't accept upon yourself any less than what you would accept upon someone that you truly and genuinely love. The question I often get is, how do I love myself again? And when I hear this question, I think to myself, well, if you really loved yourself before, then you wouldn't have gotten to a point where you're wondering, how do I love myself? Because self-love, by definition, means that you are so good at having those boundaries around you that you just don't allow someone to violate them. Or if they do violate them, you don't allow them to continue violating them. You don't allow them to continue having any kind of impact on your life. Self-love by definition means that you don't accept upon yourself any less than what you would accept upon someone that you truly and genuinely love. Self-love by definition means that you don't allow anything less than what you deserve to enter your life or to have power over your life. So if you had that self-love before, how could it be that you're at a point now where you don't know what self-love is? So maybe you never really loved yourself. Maybe you're reflecting back on the person you were before this pain that you went through came into your life and you're thinking life was much simpler back then because I didn't have this pain. But maybe life was much simpler back then because you were inexperienced because you were innocent in some ways, because you didn't experience this kind of pain with this intensity. And you thought that because that pain wasn't there, that you loved yourself. But that's not the case. Self-love is not something that you're born with. Self-love is something that you teach yourself. It's something that you work hard on day after day. Self-love doesn't just start as this much in your life at 100% and go down over time. It's not like that at all. Self-love is something that you build up for yourself as you experience life and experience things. And I know you might be wondering, but I know people who've never experienced anything painful in their life and their lives are perfect and all that stuff. That's not true. That's something that you are imagining and you shouldn't be looking at other people's lives when it comes to especially self-love. You have to reflect on yourself. So accept that the person you were before that pain is not someone you can go back to. You have to accept that the person you were before and the person that you are now, the person that you are becoming, are two different people. They have the same core, which is you, but life now cannot be the same as life back then because here you didn't have the pain, which means you didn't have the lesson. Here you have the pain, but you also have the lesson or the lessons that you were meant to learn. Here you may have felt like you were unscathed and, and you know, pain-free and whole. Here, you are a bunch of broken pieces that you decided to put back together into a glorious person. And that's not easy. Self-love is picking up those pieces that were broken down with whatever pain that you went through, picking them up and saying, I love each one of you strongly enough to say, 
you belong in this person who I am now and in this person who I'm becoming.